How different was the early draft of the Predator 2 movie? As many movies undergo script changes, they will see the inclusion of new ideas, or the removal of other ideas, or in some cases, some ideas will be moved around to fit better into the story. So I'm going to look through a few changes the movie had between the different scripts. During the second and third draft of the Predator 2 movie, when Keyes confronts Harrigan near the Slaughterhouse District, he mentions that over the course of 700 years, there's been a number of unexplained deaths in places like Beirut, Cambodia, Iowa Jima, Negev Desert, and Central America. But this is the first time that they know of when this alien species has targeted a population center. And even though there have been clues to their existence for a long time, the events in Central America and in Los Angeles are the only verifiable contacts between humans and this alien species. The City Hunter chose a period in the year when it was very hot, and with all the violence and crime in Los Angeles, it made for the perfect hunting grounds. As the City Hunter watched Harrigan, he analyzed his intelligence and combat techniques. The violent nature of humans is why the predators returned to Earth to hunt man. Harrigan was seen as a hunter of men, just like the predators. That makes him a first-rate trophy, a worthy rival to hunt. The final draft of the movie refers to Harrigan as, You're the lion. This is his jungle. As he stalked Harrigan, he analyzed the close bond between Danny and Mike. The predator was able to anger Harrigan more by killing his best friend Danny. With the sudden loss of his friend, Mike Harrigan's craving for revenge had increased. The predators find ways to make their hunt more exciting. For example, the city hunter continued to pursue Harrigan in the cemetery and left behind Danny's necklace on a tree branch. Harrigan realized he was getting stalked by Danny's killer, and it put him over the edge to be very careful where he went. This scene was changed in the early drafts to include a few tokens from King Willie and not Danny's necklace. When Mike visits the medical examiner about Danny's death, they bring up something that was not mentioned in the movie. A bone sample from Danny's body shows that some kind of residue was left behind by an edged weapon. It seems this was some kind of lubricant that was on the blade which made it easier to cut through their prey. There is also a minor change to King Willie meeting the predator in the alley. He actually ends up using a submachine gun during this fight, but still dies. This scene was also used in the comic book. These early scripts also bring up the difference in why Peter Keyes wanted to capture the Predator. In the early drafts, his fascination of the Predator is expressed through more dialogue. They want to freeze him and place him in a cryogenic chamber. Even though there is a risk of the Predator activating its self-destruct bomb, Peter Keyes is still willing to risk the lives of the innocent people in Los Angeles. This could have been avoided if they just eliminate the Predator, but instead, they made plans to capture it alive which could give them more insight into their technology and species. This scene is also changed by Agent Peter Keyes remaining inside the monitoring station as he sends his team into the packing house to confront the Predator. And when Harrigan enters the packing house, the Predator plays back some voiceovers from Leona, King Willie, and Peter Keyes, as if it was taunting him during the battle. Agent Keyes is also never killed in this version of the script. He appears at the end of the movie when Harrigan escapes the Predator's ship before it takes off. One of the other scenes that was changed was the cemetery scene where the predator meets the little boy with a gun. The original script placed this scene early on in the film, but it took place at a children's playground, and the famous line of, want some candy, was not in the script. So that's it. Those are some changes from the early script compared to what we got in the final version. But what did you think about these changes in Predator 2? Let me know in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you stay up to date with the latest videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.